Now, the University of New Mexico's continuing education program isn't just for grown-ups. Naomi Sanway supervises the youth programs and is joining us this morning with details. Hi, Naomi. Good morning. Good to have you with us. Thanks. And, you know, we need these programs for the kids. And, and what's so great is you offer a number of different camps and unique camps is what's even more special about it for the kids. So, you know, tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, um, well right now we've got an awesome spring break camp going on, a variety of different programs, everything from ancient Greece and kids today oh, wow. fencing to teens doing job search um, in a boot camp setting to babysitting, dinosaurs, <gasps> and um, kids putting on a performance of The Lion King during the week. Really? Yeah. How did they get it together so quickly? They are amazing. In five days, they're going to be performing mini Lion King. So. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, obviously, like, we're getting that spring fever now. Summer's coming, and teens are going to be job hunting. I mean, that's the big thing. When you're a teenager, you're thinking about that summer job, right? So does your your job search involve, you know, I mean, at, at the camp, do you in involve job searching? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it, it, adults uh, have a challenging job market, so mm -hmm. you can only imagine what it's like for teens. Yeah. So we try to arm them with everything that they need. Okay. Um, from resume writing, interviewing, techniques to get a really? job. And by the end of the week, we hope they have the skills to get out there and, and get what they need for summer. And then it's these amazing. are lifetime skills, too, so they can use them in the future. See, what I love about this is that you're giving them a chance to learn something in the process of having a good time, you know? Right. And it's nice to be able to combine the two, because sometimes that's tough. And, you know, when you think about teenage jobs, babysitting is really popular among the teens. And you actually offer a babysitting certification program, which I think is so cool. And I have to say that when I was a kid, my babysitters were not that much older than me. So what's the appropriate age to begin babysitting? Well, it, it depends on the... Um, teen or preteen who's doing babysitting for okay. sure. I'd say 12 would be the minimum age. Okay. Um, but and that's when we start our program for certification and the kids are actually taught by a neonatologist who really? comes and teaches them everything they need to know about health and and making sure kids are safe and then we also bring wow. in um, adults who know how to help kids have fun and do things like read to them and keep it keep it really great yeah because so. you know that's one of those things you know you're allowing somebody to take care of your most precious cargo in the whole world your child and yet often they don't have any kind of training or certification or anything so this is a great way to get somebody skilled and, and to understand the art of babysitting and then they go into it and they have a better chance of getting those jobs and getting paid more probably too right absolutely if you can go in there and say I have first aid certification CPR mm -hmm. I know how what games toys and activities are appropriate for this age of child yes um, and I'm fun and <laughs> yeah, love exactly. kids. That helps too, right? That's a great combination. Well, give us some details about some of your other camps because it's really, it's nice to have this variety for all the diversity of, of all the children out there. Sure. So we have, we offer a wide variety of camps um, coming up for summer. Okay. Um, so everything from sports camps because, you know, kids need time outside. No doubt. Um, to camps that focus on pre-career. We have an architecture wow. and a film camp coming up for summer. And performance camp. I mean, for me, I went to performance camp and I, that was one of my favorite things in the whole world. Tell us a little bit about that one. Right. So we have performance camps where the kids, as I said, actually get to do a performance within a, a certain period of time and, and be on stage and get to oh know gosh. what backstage is like and all of that. All aspects. All aspects. That's amazing. Yeah. And wait, what about the Lego camp? Oh, that has been so popular. So um, you might think as a parent, Lego camp, we can play with Legos at home. <laughs> right. This is Legos like you've never seen before. They're making spinners that um, paint. They're making wow. pieces that move. They are taking Legos to the next level. That's amazing. And, and then they can end up working at Legoland because, you know, there's a whole Legoland out in California. And yes. you can actually get employed by them with this kind of training. Absolutely. And, and more than that, also, they're learning um, engineering skills. And great. What, what is a centrifuge? and things like that where they're they're picking up um, skills that they're going to be able to use in the future it's and great having fun well yeah and all kids are different we all have different interests so Absolutely. it's nice to have that opportunity and those options and so if a parent is thinking right now what should they consider as far as deciding on the camp program for them well, definitely I'd say the first thing to consider, and I say this as a parent, is you want to make sure that everyone at the camp is safe and background yes. checked. That's number one. Okay. Um, but after that, what is your child's interest? Mm -hmm. Are they the kid who wants to be outdoors? Yeah. Um, are they socially oriented? Or are they going to want to do something like we offer in a, a computer gaming camp That's where great. they get to build games? Oh my so, gosh. Um, I love it's it. just a wide variety of what your kid 
once and then uh, making sure that you get that scheduled now because Great. camps have opened. And of course, as we look at the screen right now, we can see how they can register to be a part of one of these camp programs. And Naomi, we really appreciate you being here with us and sharing the information. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Sounds like a great thing. And if you're in the market, find out what's on the market. The Real Estate Outlook is next on New Mexico Style. Don't go away. Thank you.